Hi everyone, I've been playing around with my looking glass portrait. I'm moving the camera back and forth, try and show the 3D effect. In real life, each one of each of your eyes will see a different view. So you get you see the 3D effect, but obviously this is a 2D video. So I'm trying to move the camera to show the the 3D effect. You can sort of see here that the this little wheel is moving relative to the background as the camera moves. I've implemented this using the DXR ray tracing. So instead of using the typical quilt method, I cast a ray for every single sub-pixel to compute the final image that's displayed. And I've got kind of a drawing here to try and demonstrate. Normally rendering on the looking glass is accomplished by rendering out multiple views of a scene. So here's my scene up here. We want to render it out from different positions along the, the axis here. So you can imagine this is looking at it from the left, from the center, from the right. We want to skew our frustum so that they all intersect along a plane here. And this plane, you can think of this plane as the actual physical plane of the display. And anything behind this plane in the virtual world will look behind the screen in the real world and anything in front of this plane in the virtual world will appear to, to stick out of the display in, in real life. You normally you'd render a whole bunch of bunch of these, typically, typically around 40 from different, different views. So for the final output, for each pixel and then each sub-pixel, the red, green, blue, you compute what angle it will be seen from find the or the closest image and the next closest and like interpolate between the two images to compute that final sub pixel color and when you do all this you get the final image but of course it means you've got to render out the same image from slightly different angles roughly 40 times what i've done though is implemented it with ray tracing so for each pixel then each sub pixel do the same math to figure out where it should be seen from, but we don't have to snap to one of these render targets. It could be any, any value along here. We take where it would go in a normal uh, 2D projection. Oh, yeah, 2D projection. We find where that would hit our focus plane, the this, this same plane here, what, what we want behind and what we want in front. Figure out where it hit, hit that plane then cast our ray from the computed position where we think the lens, what angle will that pixel would be, would be perceived from, and then cast the ray towards where that would hit. And that, that way, every, every single pixel in the, that's displayed is not an interpolation between these prefixed scenes that we made. It can be computed individually. And uh, yeah, I think it looks looks pretty good. Obviously, you need a GPU uh, capable of ray tracing. Because of DXR, we can do this in real time. This is running on a RTX 2070. We can see we move it around. The focus point is set to like this handle here. Uh, so like we can zoom right in. I think things get quite blurry quite fast as they as they pop come out of the screen. So we can actually adjust how much depth is perceived by changing how far apart the spread of the, the cameras are. Um, I can try and demonstrate that. Uh, if I set it really low, the image should appear now like a flat 2D image and a bit hard to see, but you can see that there's no parallax now. And if I crank it up, image should have things you can start to see like between this cabinet and this black like junction junction box on the wall you can see that there's there's parallax there now i should say that this is based off a great dxr sample by adam mars i'll leave a link to this his uh, github project i'll put this up on github when i can just that the looking glass sdk is not public yet as soon as it is, I'll, I'll put this up and I'll update the description so there's a link to the GitHub page for this. 
if anyone has any questions or anything how this works feel free to to reach out I'll, I'll try and help in any way i can thanks for watching